Ya Ali Madad, and welcome to the Ismaili Update March Recap. My name is Anara Bharwani, and I'm excited to be your host for today. Earlier this month, Prince Rahim met with His Excellency Sadir Japarov, the President of the Kyrgyz Republic in Bishkek. Prince Rahim's official visit to the country came at the invitation of the President. The two leaders discussed the Aga Khan Development Network's long-standing presence in the Kyrgyz Republic and their shared desire to deepen cooperation in climate change mitigation and adaptation, the enhancement of education and economic opportunity, and the safeguarding of mountain areas, including their ecosystem, cultural heritage, habitats, and overall quality of life. AKDN agencies have been active in the Kyrgyz Republic for more than two decades. Princess Zara, representing Molana Hazrimam, attended the Commonwealth Day and led the procession of loyal societies in his capacity as Vice President-designate of the Royal Commonwealth Society. The Commonwealth Day service celebrates the Commonwealth of Nations and their commitment to promote democracy, human rights, rule of law and equality for their 2.5 billion citizens. Prince Amin and Prince Ali Muhammad attended a sold-out performance by the Aga Khan Master Musicians alongside the Madeira Classical Orchestra as part of the Madeira Music Festival. The master musicians performed pieces from their debut album, Navroz, which reached number one in the World Music Charts Europe in February 2024, a testament to its broad appeal with its unique blend of folk, jazz and classical influences. This month, Ismailis around the world celebrate the beginning of the holy month of Ramadan, a time of heightened commitment to piety and purification. Later, on 21st of March, we celebrate Navroz, a time of spiritual revitalization, of giving thanks for divine blessings and of looking ahead to the future with optimism and hope. And in just a few days, we will be celebrating another festival, Laylatul Qadr, Ismailis observe Laylatul Qadr on the 23rd night of Ramadan, marking a night of special prayer and remembrance of Allah. While Ismailis around the world are offering gratitude and prayer, we continue to pray for the peace, safety and security of all those impacted by conflict and instability. For more information on any of these festivals and their significance in our tariqa, please visit the Ismaili. International Women's Day was celebrated around the world on 8th March. Speaker sessions and events were held in Jamaat Khanas, Ismaili centers and across various AKDN agencies. On the occasion of International Women's Day, the Ismaili released a new episode of Trailblazers, featuring two accomplished diplomats, Noor Jehan and Alia Mawani. Visit the Ismaili TV to hear about the journeys, challenges and triumphs in their work and lives thus far. Malala Yousafzai, the youngest awarded Nobel Laureate and renowned advocate for girls' education, visited the Ismaili Jamaatkana Harvest Green in Richmond, Texas, to participate in a discussion on education initiatives and women's empowerment. We want to see the day where every child gets the opportunity to be in school and gets quality education. Let's make that commitment. Let's ensure that those 120 million girls who are out of school get into school. Let's ensure that those hundreds of millions who are in school and are not learning, that they learn. So we can make this dream come true in our lifetime. I am committed to it. We all are committed to it. And I can see that future if we all believe in it and if we all come together to make it happen. Thank you. Part of the Aga Khan Development Network's commitment to net zero by 2030, the Aga Khan University is installing its largest solar photovoltaic project to date. The signing ceremony for the project was held earlier this month and the installation of the new panels will happen in phases with completion aimed by April 2025. AKU's goal of net zero emissions by 2030 involves reducing absolute emissions using renewable energy and other strategies. The project is expected to save 1,900 tons of carbon dioxide emissions every year, or the equivalent emissions produced by burning 800,000 liters of petrol in a car. The 
The Economic Times of India named the Aga Hall Estate in Mumbai as the iconic residential project of the year. The Aga Hall Estate is an upcoming residential complex consisting of two towers in South Mumbai. With the Jamatkana at its centre, the Aga Khan Development Network will also develop a state-of-the-art hospital across the street and an IB school adjacent to its towers. Ismaili Civic in Madagascar, along with the Aga Khan Foundation, and Premier Agence de Microfinance planted 750 trees in a reforestation event earlier this month. Participants also provided maintenance to a previously reforested site with their efforts to counteract global warming effects and to protect the environment. Congratulations to Nizar Samji, who has been elected as the new Chancellor of the University of Alberta in Edmonton, Canada. Nizar has held many other roles, including the University's Board of Governors, President of the Ismaili Council for Edmonton, and more recently, Global Director of Campus Development and Operations with Aga Khan University and Hospital. Nizar will begin a four-year term as the University's 23rd Chancellor this June. Professor Zain Qasim, Director of the Institute of Ismaili Studies, sat down with Ismaili TV for an interview as part of the In Conversation series. Visit the Ismaili TV to learn more about the Institute and its dedication to the study of Islam. Embark on an enriching voyage through time and tradition with heritage journeys. Apply for in-person excursions to Pakistan, Egypt, East Africa and India. Applications are opening soon. Visit the website on the screen for more details. It has been a pleasure to be your host for today. Thank you and Yali Mudat.